it's yeah, so annoying. Okay. You speak with me. Yes, I am. You're all not wanting it now, huh? Yeah, but... Have you? Yeah. Nam, mong nhìn chúng chào một bài mời. Bài mời. Bài mời. Bài mời. Nước Việt Nam. ว่าดีเลยว่าตัวเราหาเหนื่อยให้ความให้ว่างให้ว่างเนี่ยอ่าเราเรียนไม่ดีไม่ดีไม่ดีอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่า
all the ladies, maybe 15 or 20 there, every one of their husbands is that way. And if uh, someone has a husband that's not that way, shouldn't they say something? Hey, my husband's not that way. Nobody said anything. So as you know, silence implies consent. So they all jumped on the bandwagon of let's bash our husbands, men in general. Well, why am I saying that? Well, you know, this, this YouTube channel is my life story. Yeah, I mean, it's my everyday life. And uh, one of my hobbies, if you know me, is uh, languages, studying languages. And uh, heaven forbid <laughs> I made a, made a mistake on translating. But, you know, that's part of language learning. You have to make mistakes. One time when I was in uh, Tijuana with my wife, we just got married. We went down there for a little vacation. And uh, I saw these sandals in the store. I wanted to get her some sandals. Couldn't think of the word for sandals. So I knew it sounded something like English, sandals. I'm thinking sandals. So I said, uh, in Spanish, I said, uh, let me see that pair of uh, sandias. <laughs> the guy go, I realized, uh oh, I said something wrong. So I bought the sandals, took it home. Later, when I was studying my vocabulary list of fruits and vegetables, sandias, watermelon. Oh, man. So I got embarrassed, you know, a few months later. But do you think I ever forgot how to say watermelon in Spanish? <laughs> sandias. The word was sandalias was what I was thinking about, sandalias. So anyway, uh, making mistakes uh, is all part of learning languages. But uh, most everybody just, you know, uh, that knew the word pipino, I couldn't think of it. For some reason, I was thinking of pimienta, uh, uh, pepper. Uh, so a lot of times when I don't know the exact word in Tagalog or Bisaya, I just take a jab at it. And uh, sometimes I'm right and sometimes I'm not. But so many people were very good at uh, just saying, that means cucumber. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. But I wanted to show you uh, some comments that... Uh... <laughs> Where'd they go? I want to share... This is from Daniel Richards. He's a good guy. He's he's written several comments before that was respectful and, you know, it, it's good. But he said, hi, bud. Somehow, you know, I don't know how I formed the view that you are fluent in Spanish. I am fortunate. Uh, I am fluent in English. Wow. Spanish and Italian, able to speak, read and write in these languages. Okay. In the videos on the Mali Mobile, you mentioned the word visagra. Actually, it would be with a B in Bisaya, Bisagra, but anyway, which is hinge in English, right? I'm listening to Filipino for the first time, and I'm fascinated by how much Spanish they have in the language. Remember the word rejas? The Spanish equivalent is rejas, bars across the doors and windows. Also, you mentioned lunes, Monday. The lady was saying pepino. The proper Spanish word is pepino. In English, it's cucumber. I think that you had, I think what you had was a form of wild cucumber, perhaps perfectly edible. Cheers from ours, mate. So he's got uh, six thumbs up on that. So a lot of people are agreeing with him. And so I'm always up for correction. So I say, yes, I lived in Mexico with a Mexican family when I was a teenager. I made a mistake in this video thinking they were saying pimienta, which is pepper in Spanish. But actually, pepino, yeah, pepino. But actually, pepino is cucumber. And yes, so many words in Tagalog and Sabano come from Spanish, some with the same meaning and some with different meanings. But I'm learning. So here comes an, the comment that I really enjoyed from Emphatic. Excellent observation. I highly respect Mr. Bud Brown, but somehow... From his YouTube vlogs, he forms his narrative that he is a linguist. Although most of the languages he speaks, like Filipino, he can hardly articulate in a full, 
in full sentences, unlike the YouTubers Dwayne Woolley, Woolley or Woolsey, anyway, and uh, Hungry Syrian Wanderer, who can speak even in the Filipino vernacular. When he was in Japan to attend the language conference, he was very frustrated not understanding the Japanese street signs. I will be very impressed if Mr. Brown can express himself fully in Filipino, Tagalog and Visaya, since he already adapted the Philippines as his home country. <laughs> so here I am gonna embarrass myself by saying if I can speak languages or not. So, I realize no tengo que probar nada, nadie. So I'm gonna put up a couple little videos where I'm speaking these languages, but I know I don't have to. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> Except my pride, I guess. So uh, I just don't want anybody who wants to learn a language to be discouraged by comments like you have to speak very fluently and not uh, stumble or uh, not understand certain words like cucumber, hinges. <laughs> Come on, man. Also, uh, it kind of surprised me that uh, emphatics, uh, his um, implication is that uh, anyone who calls himself a linguist and then they're having trouble understanding Japanese street signs? What kind of linguist are you? You're supposed to understand Japanese street signs. Come on. So I don't know. Maybe he's getting mixed up between linguist and uh, polyglot. But since I'm sure he speaks fluent English. I don't need to explain the difference between a linguist and a polyglot. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I ought to call Gloria in here to Han. Lika. This uh, fella says uh, he says that he's a linguist but most of the language he speaks like Filipino, he can hardly articulate a full sentence. Ibig sabihin na kala niya, hindi pwede ako makipag-usap ng Tagalog. Bakit hindi? Marunong ka mag-Tagalog. Pero kala niya, hindi ko marunong mag-Tagalog, hindi pwede ako makipag-usap. Marunong mag-Tagalog. Okay. Salamat. So. Yeah. Okay. Yan lang. There you go. My wife stood up for me. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm going to even. Uh, Dinner. If I'm going to uh, post this video or not. I'm hoping that people that know me and that have had experience with me can uh, speak for me. But, you know, what can I say? Don't. It? Okay. So, na tao sa gawas. All right, man. You don't need to prove anything. <laughs> we love you anyway. <laughs> I know it. But, okay. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming by the channel. Thank <laughs> you.